Uh, Junior Taffa coming in here in a heavyweight bout against Parker Porter. Porter sits at plus 130. Taffa sits at minus 160. Over under one and a half rounds. Minus 120 for the over. Minus 110 for the under. Junior Taffa coming in 4-1 in his last five. Uh, Parker Porter 3-2 and two in his last five. 38 years of age for him. 26 years of age for Junior Taffa. If you remember his UFC debut, it was one of the grossest fights I think I've ever watched in the UFC. It was uh, Muhammad Usman lay on him for 12 <laughs> minutes out of 15 and literally land seven significant strikes the entire fight. I mean, you got to put a lot of that on Junior Taffa as well because he couldn't get up. He literally got taken down twice, could not get up. Uh, and he found, him, found himself on his back for most of the fight, and he couldn't get up. So that sucks that he couldn't do that. He kind of gassed out after that first round. At the end of the first round, he kind of let off this like flurry and nearly got uh, Usman out of there. And then after that, it was like he just gassed out. He, he Once he got taken down, couldn't get up. So that's tough to look at. But then you look at Parker Porter, and Parker Porter – Literally just beats the bottom of the barrel for the heavyweight division. Uh, wins over Braxton Smith, Alan Badeau, Chase Sherman, Josh Parisian. That is the bottom of the barrel. Like the bottom of the barrel. Uh, and, and I don't think Junior Taffa is the bottom of the barrel because he has very good kickboxing skills. He is very big. He's still young. He's young in his MMA career. I don't think Parker Porter's going to be able to hold him down for 12 minutes. If he does, I'll live with it, but I think on the feet, Junior Taffa is just going to be much more active, a lot more power, a lot more skill on the feet. Uh, I mean, one of the Taffa has already knocked out Parker Porter. I'm going to go with Junior Taffa in this one to do the same thing to him. Um, and younger fighter, always love that. So I think I got to take him. Are you giving Parker Porter a chance? Uh, no, I don't think I can here. Um you know, Parker Porter is a well-rounded fighter. He doesn't do anything great, though. I mean, he doesn't do anything bad. He's going to be shorter than Tafa here, reach his advantage. He's more athletic than he appears. Like, he's he's like a thick dude. I mean, he, he almost, he's six foot, but he's got such a big belly. He looks, you know, un unathletic and like he couldn't do some of the things he does. But, you know, he is decently athletic and has really, really good volume for being a big guy like that. He has been finished a ton, though. And, uh, you know, he's got a chance for both Taffa brothers to finish Parker Porter in one year, in the same exact year. And for Justin Taffa, like, regardless of getting taken down by Muhammad Usman, who is a legitimate wrestler with a lot, lot more strength than Parker Porter and a lot more explosiveness, um, I think that Taffa keeps this one on the feet against Porter. And even Parker Porter does throw 6.66 .66 significant strikes per minute, which is a very, very high rate for heavyweights. But the problem with doing that here against Tafa is you're going to get countered. Like you're going to get countered by this dude who's a phenomenal kickboxer, like really, really, really good kickboxer who's powerful, super athletic. Um, you know, Usman did have 12 minutes control in his UFC debut, but those three minutes that were on the feet, Usman was in great danger at all times. And every time he got touched, Usman was stumbled a little bit and on shaky legs. And it just shows the power and accuracy of Tafa. Um, very dangerous, and I, I think he should. Like I said, keep this on the feet, and if he does, at some point, Parker Porter is going to feel one of those combinations, one of those kicks to the midsection right in the stomach and just you know, either get a little bit more worn out until that big finish comes or uh, you know, Toff is going to get an early finish, in my opinion. So I think he does beat Parker Porter. I, I like him a lot this week. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking at that Usman fight, like he was on the ground. like Usman was on top of him, or at least had the control time for more than three minutes and 25 seconds in every round. Yeah. And yet people were still looking at that. Like junior Taffa might've won that like every <laughs> yeah. round because he just landed more than did way more damage than uh, Muhammad Usman did. So yeah, that was just a disgusting fight. I don't think Parker Porter is going to be able to do that. Uh, right. so I like junior Taffa. 